Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ace Kanti, seated inside the Kujo Shorty Studios on a Monday morning. We have a lot of stories for you guys this week because a lot happened over the weekend. We have an update from the camp of the head pastor of Alive Chapel International, Bishop Salifu Amwakun. He apologized last week, Friday. That was a video posted by UTV. And then after the apology, people were waiting to say, what is going to happen in church on Sunday? Because he's going to speak to his congregants in the Alive Chapel International. City TV was there during the service on Sunday and he made some comments where Ghanaians feel like he's trying to, um, um, I don't know, but what he said was the wrong thing. Some people say it's normal, but he was not supposed to say it in a situation like this because on Saturday, one of the kids, the burial ceremony happened at um, Agape New Testament Church in East Legon. Mami Jumobwatin, yes, may her soul rest in perfect peace. Think the other would also, the funeral will be held. The date is not out for that yet. The funeral service for Mami Jumobwatin, yes, was held at the East Legon, Agape New Testament Church. And then the family and friends were there to sympathize with them. May her soul rest in perfect peace. We are still waiting on updates from the other side as well. But there's detail to um, the sermon where that was held by Bishop Salifu Amwaku. We'll bring you guys the details on that. My name is Ace Kanti. This episode is brought to you by Tap Tap Send. If you're in the US, UK, Canada, Europe, or UAE, send money back home using Tap Tap Send, where you send money, zero transaction fee. If you're looking for the fastest and easiest way to send money, bro, use Tap Tap Send. Use the promo code YAWA on your first transaction. You stand a chance to get what? Five pounds, five euros, or ten dollar cash back into your account. So send money back home using Tap Tap Send. Now let's go straight into the story. Bishop Salifu Amwaku, head pastor of Alive Chapel International, his son, Erad, who uh, was involved in an accident in a uh, Jaguar that collided or ran into an Akura at East Legon, I think a week ago, on Saturday, last two weeks, Saturday, um, after his apology over the week on Friday, in church, something happened. He said a lot of things, and bro, the highlight, or there's a part that has been trending on social media, people feel like he did try to trigger the families, and which is not right. He said a lot of things, I'm going to break it down, because... From the angle where the video was shot by CTTV, you might not hear every single thing that he said. The first thing he said is that he condemned his church members for disgracing him at the court. If you guys remember, on Wednesday last week, GH1 posted a video that members or friends or sympathizers from the camp of Bishop Salifu Amwakun, they um, harassed uh, one of their reporters. So Bishop Salifu Amwakun on the sermon on Sunday said his church members has disappointed him. And then some of them were even lucky not to be in jail or arrested because people who were just protesting on the streets were arrested. How much more someone who just comes to court and then you come and attack reporters. He even cited in instances that people who didn't even fight have been um, accused or they have been uh, jailed or they have been kept in police custody. And you will just come here, you are here to create chaos. He cited further and said, say, in court, we don't go to court to fight. We go to court to solve cases. Therefore, his members or sympathizers who are online answering questions or supporting him, he has not asked any single person to support him. If you are there to support him, keep quiet because Ghanaians don't know the true story. This is his words. When I'm done, you watch the video. Ghanaians don't know the true story. Ghanaians speak a lot. Therefore, the moment you speak, you add more context to whatever is happening. So if you find yourself anywhere and they are talking about the incident and you are a sympathizer with him, don't speak. Just walk away. So he condemned the church members that he has not asked anyone to come online and defend him. Cited in another example that um, if someone even sent a lawyer to come to him and say, well, if he needs someone to speak on his behalf, Bishop Salifu Amaku says he know they need anyone. He would deal with the case by himself. So the church members, sympathizers, anyone online who wants to say something for him, he has not asked anyone to speak for him. So keep your mouth shut. Watch the video. <laughs> Yeah, 
He further went on the pathway trigger a lot of conversations or a lot of people's interest on social media is that he said what happened is just an accident. His son didn't carry a gun to go and kill anybody. What happened at East Legon was just an accident. His son didn't carry gun purposely to go and kill anyone. Further went on to explain that it is because of him that's why the issue has been carried like a, 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 a World Cup or an Afghan trophy. If it was to be an uh, Okada rider who happened to be involved in this or caused this, this issue wouldn't be in the news for weeks or for days. It's because of him. And he said, at the end of the day, he no be himself caused the accident. He no be he do him. He be kidiwe do him. So people should calm down. And he is not involved in the accident. Watch the video. It is an accident. It is an accident. So this part will what trigger a lot of Ghanaians on socials because how do you put out a word like this? The first part, condemn your church members. Perfect. I think that's a, be a brilliant thing to do because maybe another one member of your church or one sympathizer will go out there, go say something where the person will foresee. Then they are going to add it to you. Already the case is in court. Police is gathering an um, investigation. So anything someone says, they can add it. And you know, Ghanaians talk a lot. Because when this accident happened the very first day, they reported news. It's not what after the police investigation happened. The reported news was that five people were in the Akura. Police rep no, four people were in the Akura, four ladies. But per the police report, the Akura, there was a guy involved. So Ghanaians talk a lot. Therefore, don't give anyone room to say a lot of things. But saying that it is an accident, your son didn't carry a gun to go and kill anyone. If you think deep, it is an accident. But putting this word out at this time, where they just ended um, a burial service for one of the cases were incinerated, this they trigger emotions. This they trigger a lot of people. This, this, this they like make people vex. It gets people angry. Adrenaline self go feed they high. Because for a family that they have lost their child, and a father per report, the father of one of the kids has gone down to date, as we speak. Look at the mom and then the family and friends who were, who were crying at the burial service. Even there was an auntie who was saying that the blood of the daughter should speak for this particular case. And if you put out a word like that, your son didn't carry a gun to go and kill anyone. It not be only gun you go use that will say that it is manslaughter or probably um, a big case or a murder case. In this case, that we do, as, as at now, we don't know what the trigger that, that it speed the guy to go. What caused the speed, whether it be a, a, a brake failure or whatever is happening, even if it's brake failure, the speed at which the guy they go, say, it be too much. 
How come a 16-year-old is driving is another concern. 16-year-old driving without license is another concern. Parents allowing kids to enter vehicle safe be another concern. So if you put out a statement like this that your son didn't carry a gun to go and kill anyone, but you gave him the go-ahead to be driving, if not for that day, if the families are where the kid they drive, this be where Ghanaians get like more um, attention for because this word, oh, come on. We know it's an accident and it can happen to me, it can happen to you, it can happen to anyone. Accident is accident. Whether you are over speeding or whether you slow down or not, accident is accident. But when some things happen, you just apologize on Friday. So statements like this, now say, Ebema, you understand? I feel like even me, I was thinking, say, throughout the course of this particular issue, he shouldn't lead the sermon in church. So the courts finish whatever they will do because I know every single Sunday, this story will be cited at a point in church. Even if not from the head pastor, people in the church will use them as a prayer point. So for me, I felt like he should excuse himself from sermon or preaching to his congregant so the courts deal with this particular case finish. Because as people day now, Ghanaians are looking for what you would say, the words you put out there so that they use against you. Police still are saying, you have to remain silent because anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. For that one, if you watch movies a lot, you see that statement. So for me, I felt like this thing, you know, for Tokam. And the part that he said, if it's an Okada rider that was involved in this, the issue wouldn't be carried like a World Cup. But because of him, at the end of the day, whether it's because of you or it's not because of you, to force... <laughs> Two, two families, they lose their 12 year old child. Whether it is from the president, whether it's from a head pastor, whether it's from an individual, this case be very, very serious case. This case is not like um, somebody's trying to, uh, there's an hyperbole or somebody's trying to exaggerate things. No, no, bro. The facts were presented. Jaguar go hit Akura Bam. Two people were incinerated at that very instance. I've not seen an issue like this before. To, you know, they are siblings to two different families. Where this thing happened, if you be Okada rider, by that Okada rider can move a train on off. And what I also want to say that the head pastor should be grateful because it be him. Because if it's a brand, normal individual, oh, bro, Kabaina would dim. The name said they help him. This, the name of this prophet or the name that he has in the public domain said they help this particular case, they on a level ground at least. If you be random person, oh, come on. Watch interviews of people who have been jailed and see. People don't do anything serious. They have been jailed. People have not done anything. Giddy, giddy, they are in police custody. So for this one, oh, bro. Somebody go protest for wrong place if you go sleep inside two weeks. Someone protested at the wrong place was a, a, in police custody for two weeks. Imagine if it was the Okada driver that he cited. Oh, I'm calling you obey them bear one month. Because the way this issue day, everyone is interested. They want to see the outcome. It'll be a very serious issue. So for statements like this, I feel like, you know, for come out from the head pastor or he should avoid probably preaching, but I can't tell him what to do. I'm only here to share what I think or let you guys know what is the update with this story. I'm sure this week they will be in court for the further proceedings of this particular issue. Some um, those in the hospital... We, um, we grant that we pray for speedy recovery for all those people. I think some have been discharged per the police report. Some also did. And then we are praying that they come back and then join us. His son as well, who is still at the, um, who is at the hospital, we they pray for speedy recovery. Give up. But share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this particular statement. Maybe I might not be right or I carry the goal. Let us have a conversation in the comment section. My name is Ace Kanti. This is the update on the accident that happened at East Legon. On Saturday, the 12th of October, 2024. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This episode is brought to you by Tap Tap Send. Send money back home to your loved ones. We out.